Well, first at 6.30 tonight, the State Department of Education now has placed the Chesterfield County School District under a fiscal watch. And the declaration comes after an audit of the district's finances. Queen City News anchor Robin Kennedy is in Chesterfield County tonight to explain what led up to this decision. The South Carolina Department of Education is telling the Chesterfield County School District they need to do a better job safeguarding taxpayer dollars. They'll be audited again towards the end of the year to make sure that happens. This letter put the Chesterfield County School District under a fiscal watch. The State Department of Education issuing the notice after an audit this past December, which looked at the 2022-23 school year. That was the first year with a new superintendent, Dr. Chan Anderson, at the helm. The audit found that the district did not have certain internal accounting controls in place. Auditors say the district did not comply with wage rate requirements on federally funded construction contract language, did not record or reconcile certain purchasing card transactions, did not properly document personnel expenses, did not timely claim certain federal funds and overclaimed funds and is required to return more than $114,000 to the State Department of Education. Chesterfield County Schools tells us in part, quote, these findings did not come as a result of any lost or misallocated funds, but were simply the result of deficiencies in our internal control framework. All of the deficiencies have have been corrected. Fiscal watch is the lowest level of declaration. If the state finds that the district took the proper steps to fix everything, then they can be released from fiscal watch after a year. State law does allow districts that don't comply to have their finances taken over by the State Department of Education. Reporting in Chesterfield County, Robin Kennedy, Queen City News.